Now, I'm not sure who has the record for most raids on Kingdom Craft so far. I know Scott's raided me twice and raided Callum. However, I feel like I've raided more people. Callum, Yami, and Joey. I also own the most chicken heads on the server and no one will ever be able to take that off me. I will just keep killing chickens and taking more heads. Now, like I said, I've done a lot of raids, but it's time for one more today. Now, previously on Kingdom Craft, I raided what I believe to be Callum's base. However, it turned out to be his old base. And he actually tweeted, Thank God that Smallish Beans only found the stuff I left behind in my old base. Thank God he didn't find my new one with all the good stuff. To which I replied, this reads like a Donald Trump tweet. Look at it. It, it kind of does. So this sounded like a challenge. And in Callum's videos in his Kingdom Craft week, he's kept saying that his new base is unraidable. I just know that no one is going to raid me. Um, I'm that confident. I'm super confident. But I think I know what he's doing. In his most recent video, he showed himself claiming factions all the way to the end portal from his base. Or else I have to start completely again. But I don't think his base is under the volcano anymore. I think he's done the same thing to where his new base is. So we're gonna go searching for it right now. Another thing I noticed in his video is that his bedrock base, the floor isn't entirely bedrock. However, underneath the volcano, I blew up a lot of space down there and the bedrock is all completely flat. This is what I mean. I'm under the volcano and the area is completely flat. And this is Callum's claimed land right here. Things just don't add up. His base is definitely not underneath that volcano. You'll notice on the map that there's these new two bits added. I wonder if that's the direction he went off in. Now you could also be thinking, but what if Joel, he's not claimed his area? Well, he teleports into his base and you can only teleport into claimed area. Therefore, his area must be claimed wherever his base is. What's that right there, Callum? Because I know he's claimed the end portal as well, but I'm not sure if that's it. This could be his new base. Look, he's got two separate claimed areas on the map. Interesting. What is this? Please don't tell me this is actually just an entrance into his base. That's part of his video. His base is down there. I'm pretty sure I've seen that hole in his video. Um, for those of you who didn't think I'd come all the way to bedrock, I did. So let's dig down and dig around this thing. Aha! Bedrock level. Let's dig all around the outside here. And because Callum said his base is at bedrock level, hopefully we should be able to break into it. Oh my gosh, lava. Yikes. Oops. If this is just a bait, I'm gonna be very sad. If Callum's base is not actually under here, and this is just a random bit of claimed land, that's gonna make me angry. But I will find it. You can only go so far. He's only got like 80 power. Oh look, diamond, but I can't take it. It's in his land. Great. So let's create a line of TNT all the way around this thing. I have to go back and get some more from our base. But let's hope it's in here, otherwise I'm gonna waste all this TNT. Are you kidding me? My teleport's just glitched out. I can't teleport back there. <laughs> We gotta walk all the way there. It was really far out. So this is gonna be really embarrassing if this reveals nothing. At least I'll get some diamonds, maybe. Right, but I've pretty much done the full perimeter. Oh gosh, what the heck? Silver fish, where did you just come from? What the? Go away. Oh, I got a skull. Two skulls. All right, let's light this and run and hide. Oh gosh, silver fish. No, stop. Oh gosh, they're dead. That's okay. Oh gosh, there's so many silver fish. Oh my gosh, it's actually here. Look at this. If the silverfish would go away. Oh, look at all that TNT. Okay, silverfish. All right, I need to kill all these stupid things first, but I actually got into his base. This is all his good stuff. So let's get rid of all the rubbish in our inventory. 64 emeralds, we'll take that. Some TNT. 64 diamonds, lovely. We'll take these. Oh gosh, I've got cod in my inventory. Aquaman 1, I'll have that. I really want to pick up all this TNT. Okay, let's get my TNT chest out. Plop that here. We'll start putting the TNT in. I had three stacks. Let's see how much we have at the end of this. These are my shulker chests, but I'm adding Aquaman, Power, all these books which he's got. And throw the rubbish over here. Skeleton horse, spawn eggs. Spawn eggs, I'll take those. These books, we'll take. All these books are mine now. Put our, the diamonds in here, some iron. Oh gosh, I'm gonna need more stuff. Can I make a chest maybe? Has he got any wood anywhere? Crafting table. Plop that down over here. Get rid of all this rubbish for now. There's some wood. We might be able to make a chest. Where are all these zombie villagers coming from? Do you have like a village spawn or something? Where are they coming from? We'll start using this chest here as like a way to, we'll take, oh, we can't take it. Oh, there's a chest in here. Okay, we can take that. Silk touch pickaxe, coal lapis, ender pearls, emeralds. We're gonna come back and grab all this. All this chorus fruit. Not that much TNT. We only got like five stacks, which is not the best, but I'll take it. At least we can fill up this shulker box with other stuff now. Just to transport it back home. 
Mushroom spawn egg, I'll take that. Ooh, four enchanted apples. Some golden apples. Take all this iron, gold. Go away, zombie villagers. I think we pretty much got everything. Some more gold there. Not as much TNT as I was hoping, but a pretty good haul nonetheless. All this stuff in here, we only had three stacks of TNT, so we got five from Callum, plus loads of books, chorus fruit, pickaxes, which are good, some books, and then this one, we only had about seven or eight books in here. The rest are all from Callum, plus these diamonds, obsidian, the skeleton spawn, horse egg. Very nice. So Callum, maybe you shouldn't have mentioned that you had another base there. there. Because I kind of uh, raided it and uh, now you have nothing. Sorry about that. He's got his ender chest. I'm sure he's got some stuff. But the rest is mine. And now we go home with all our goods. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> ah, I am truly a villain on this serve. Oh, we actually got another stack of TNT. I put it in the ender chest by accident. Nice. Let's go sell a load of this stuff. 126,000 at the moment. 172,000. So honestly, not that much more money made. But four enchanted golden apples and all these other golden apples plus the spawn eggs plus more i think we we won here today oh and don't forget about the six stacks of tnt i raided you gotta love it also callum what is that up there that looks like a base should we go find out let's gather some blocks up to see if we can just build our way up there i think it's in his claimed land but if we get close enough, we can end a pearl. I just need a lot of blocks. Luckily, there's all this black concrete powder around and I have a good shovel. This is a bit dangerous. We'd be able to see from here anyway if there's actually anything on it. Where'd it go? Oh, it's still there. It's really high up. But don't worry, we've got lots of concrete powder, although I am kind of getting a bit scared at the moment. This is quite terrifying, to be honest. If I fall, I lose all my enchanting points again and I don't want that to happen. But we're actually gonna be really close. We'll be able to end a pearl onto it really easily. Oh my gosh. It's right next to it. Right, is there anything on here? It looks like, oh, it's just, it's just cobblestone. All right, cool. Well, time to go back down. Wait, this could be bad. Oh no, we should be safe. And he doesn't know that we know, unless he watches this video, then he knows that we know. But I think maybe we should leave Callum alone for now. And the funny thing is, Callum's not even enemied me yet. <laughs> I don't know how he hasn't made me his enemy. I've raided his base so many times and blown up a lot of his volcano. Get the message, Callum, make me your enemy. Now it's time for my favorite part of the episode. We're gonna make Joel Canyon a little bit bigger. And because we've raided Calm today, I'm feeling a little bit special. Instead of using one stack of TNT, let's use two stacks of TNT, courtesy of Callum's spare stacks of TNT. Thank you, Callum. I appreciate you. Quickly though, we got a few more skulls to add on the wall. This base is looking pretty good now. Chicken wall still needs more. Need more chickens to be killed. Also, we're now back up to full enchanted arm nearly, just our boots to go. I've actually got enough points for that, so I might add some enchantments onto those in a second. Let's sleep quickly in one of these houses, as I like it to be daylight when we make Joel Canyon bigger. Much, much better. Also, I've got enough golden apples now that I can just eat one before going in this mansion. Despite me just going in here to see if there's any TNT. There is. Ow. And there's something in here hurting me. Which is why I needed to eat the golden apple. Holy moly, my health. It's a good job I did. Let me neck. That was with a golden apple. But we'll still just use two stacks. We'll save that 32 for another time. Maybe Callum will make a new base. Who knows? If he does, where he might find it. The poor guy. He's doing his Kingdom Craft week and he's trying to make all these videos and I'm just <laughs> destroying everything. He's never even done anything bad to me in ages. But then again, neither Shubble and... Here we are, making Joel Canyon a little bit bigger, day by day. I think we'll do two explosions. We'll use one stack up first, right on the line. Tis the season and all. We want to see multiple fireworks. Oh, I can't blow up that bit. That's, that's as close as I can get. And here's part one of the canyon. Let's stand back and watch this. The beautiful sight we love to see. Yes, yes, keep going. Blow up this canyon. Joel Canyon, Joel is taking over all of the kingdoms. Yes. Yes, what a mess. It looks terrible. It's disgusting. I love it. It's perfect. And now for part two. Ow, cacti, stop. And yes, Shovel still has done nothing towards me. I am merely a bad person. I can't believe we had an episode where we were just all lovely and nice and we didn't do any damage at all. Part of two chickens, of course. Bit of a contrast to the last two episodes where all we've done is blow up people's areas and raid people, raid Callum, and blow up Shovel's area. It's just too fun not to do, because like, look at it. Look at this canyon. We're slowly chipping away. I'm hoping to be able to get towards the spawn. And it's just fun to run alongside it. Oh no, these ones aren't gonna set off. It's all right, we'll do it manually. All together now. Thank you very much. 
So there you go, Joel Canyon is looking even bigger today. Very happy, very happy indeed. So let's quickly enchant these diamond boots here. Hopefully we get something good. Fire protection free, terrible. But thanks to Callum, we have a load of bucks. So much so that I couldn't fit them all in my chest. I had to put some in here. Is there anything that I can add to my armor that might be good? Blast protection is good. Put that on. Is sweeping edge going nice on my sword? Good for farming stuff. So let's add that on, lovely. I just put it on a curse of vanishing sword. Uh, oh dear, oh well. And we can't put the blast protection on anything other than our helmet. So let's just put it on that. Lovely. And we'll just add a bit of unbreaking onto the helmet as well as it's getting quite low already. There we go, that's better. And I'm going to put this efficiency five buck we got from Callum on our pickaxe. There we go. Very nice. And I think that's the only bucks we got. Oh well, but our TNT collection is looking better than the start of the episode. We got a lot more money. We got so many golden apples. I'm happy. This was successful. So thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Make sure to leave a like and comment. And if you're new around here, subscribe for more evil doings. That's it for now. Goodbye.